episode 200. Ain't that insane. Anyways, today, ladies and gentlemen, we are using the God Jolteon that I picked up. And it looks like I'm not going to be able to use in this battle because it is going to perform extremely poorly. But, you know, with that aside... Whatever. Alright. With that aside... Uh, you know, hopefully I'll end that out. Probably not. Bold nature. Alright. So if I had picked up that, uh... That modest one on my last run, that would have been fucking massive. I think we'll take Zard or Tauros here. I think Tauros is, like, my only way around Lax. So this is what we're bringing. We're bringing Macho, uh, Tauros, and, uh... The, the Zam, because I gotta do a... Metric load of damage, alright? Listen, I don't think y'all seem to understand. Everything has been leading to this. Getting an absolutely busted Jolteon and potentially using it. Or probably not at all. You, know, you never know how it goes, alright? Alright, Choice Facts, do your thing. Make me regret not getting the Modest. Well, not getting them. Listen. I know I should have got it, alright? I know I should have. But... I didn't really have any trade bait for that Zam, and that was the problem. Yo, big guy! I'm gonna kill it! I'm slower. Don't you- Oh, okay, he's- he's cheating, he's cheating. I lost! I literally just lost. I lied. I win. I win. You suck, you're bad. Alright. So I thought I threw for a minute, but it turns out that Swellow is just kind of bad. And I kind of forgot about that very important detail. And my Tauros can absolutely beat it 1v1. That's actually huge. That is huge. That is some free Snorlax ship. Listen, I will take that any day of the week. No spet death drop. I'm crying every time. I cry every time, boys. Uh, you're being cringe. Stop healing! Literally do anything else! Alright, body slam. That's crazy. Oh, wow. We died. No way. Look, guys, I had this wonderful strategy today, right? Hey, what if I got pissed off before playing this stream, uh, this game, alright? For episode 200. What if I was just not thrilled? So I decided to play Black Ops Cold War before this. Once I actually finished playing the game and tried taking out the damn disc so, um, you know, Halo the Master Chief Collection could be in its rightful spot inside the system, I go to eject the game. The disc comes out, and then it goes right back in on its own. Like, motherfucker, listen here. I don't know what the hell you think you're up to, but I am not about to tolerate it. And I can apply the same line of thought to the Xbox when I turned it off. And you know what happened when I turned it off, ladies and gentlemen? You know what went down? <laughs> I'm sorry, no guard's just such a good ability, by the way. It's so good. <laughs> I'm sorry, the way he just sat down in the air is funny. <laughs> Alright, what I was saying. Um, yeah, so I had to do with th that. I turned the Xbox off, and then it went to the stasis of, Hey, I'm shut off. You shut. You turned me off, but I'm going to sit here flashing instead of being off. Because that would be the annoying thing to do. So, of course, I had to pull the power plug on it, because of course. So let's just say I've been having a very irritated morning because of one fucking game. I'm about to lose. I'm about to lose because I'm going to... Wait. I clicked the wrong move entirely. Wait, I should live if I hit him. Yeah. Okay, we're good. We're fine. I didn't throw. What? Oh my god, he's fucking banded. I hate this. Okay, let's just go ahead and reset. I already lost. There's no way to win it. Fuck off, why is it on the safe aisle? Thanks for wasting my time!
And we're back from probably not loading up the wrong save file or anything dumb like that. Totally not. Alright, uh, we are gaming. What do I lead? Uh, Zam beats Rampardos and Pikachu. And Zard. Let's, let's do that first. Um, unironically though, uh, Kingdra's a problem. Everything on their team's a problem, besides so like Tangrowth. Let's bring, let's bring Cedra. Cedra seems like a carry. Just to help beat the Zard. I don't know about you. But yeah, what was my train of thought before I got pissed off because ordinary guy Alec is ruining the video that's going up on my birthday? Can't fucking believe this guy. Also, guys, fun fact: thanks to uh, uh, this thing called time and the timeline, um, episode 200 is actually episode 201. Hoggers. That is the most hype thing I have ever pulled in my entire life. I pulled a sneaky on you, ladies and gentlemen. The video releasing two days after this is actually 200. This is 201. L, I win. Alright. Enough of being the worst person ever. Um, I didn't really have much of an answer for that Glyce score. So the single, fa like, the simple fact that it died to Zam here is huge. Because, um, I didn't really, like, again, have a plan for it. So lucky me. How fun. Okay, well, unless I crit him, I guess I'm losing Zam here. It could interfocus. It could just not. It could just miss me with Hydro Pump. You're being so cringe. You are the worst. Get out of here. Get out of my line of sight. You are literally the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. Thanks for the free, free perfect point, jackass. Love it. All right. That is most certainly how we play the game in the year of 2022. Okay, though, so unironically, though, guys, having a Jolteon with Thunder. Okay, I need to stop just, just sumping over how good this thing is. But still, Maud is Sash and Thunderbolt? Come on. Literally, the only way I could think to make it better is, like, get rid of Raindance for, like, Protect. And get rid of Thunder for, like, Helping Hand. So it can do something in doubles. <laughs> That's, like, the only way I could think to improve that Jolteon, just straight up. Um, we take Kingdra Glyscore every day of the week here. I think Glyscore, because it has a good move. With its rash nature that probably allows to get one-shotted. Where it otherwise would have survived a Psychic. Just saying. That mining special defense was coming in handy for sure. Yo! This is cringe. Stop. Alright. Okay, what the fuck do I lead? Um, do I just lead Tauros here? No shot, right? Oh, actually, I could lead uh, Machoke because it beats Cradley 1v1. And is my out versus the Weavile lead. Weavile is like a genuine concern here. Although I could just lead off Tauros for it. But Tauros doesn't really answer anything else. It's just like, hey, I don't die to Drapion. Let's try it. Uh, let's bring Zam because it beats Tauros plus Infernape. And maybe Sceptile, probably not. Let's bring Zard for that. Maybe? Let's bring Machoke. What's the worst that'll happen? I'll lose? Come on now. That never happens. Way to jinx it, buddy. Appreciate you. Appreciate you quite a bit. That's crazy. Anyways, thank you, YouTube. That's awesome. Today is going to be a busy day, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, fuck off. Fuck off. You're hacking. You're hacking. You're hacking. You're hacking. You're cheating. You're you're a loser. You're, you're hacking. I did not click that move at all. All right. Let's switch into the close combat, because then I can live it, because it's on minus one. I live this any day of the week, unless the 1 in 16. What time does Click Flare Blitz or something else instead? <sighs> Fun gameplay. I am so glad I'm about to miss this and lose. I'm slower? Oh, uh, excuse you. Uh, you want to stop that right now? Chill out, chill out, chill out. You are hacking. You are just a loser. You are so cringe. All right. Whatever. Okay, good. Sam gets the attack in. Lovely. And thank goodness that thing doesn't, for some reason, have focus band. Because if so, I was going to start squealing and crying like a child, all right? Oh, y'all weren't going to be ready. Wait. Oh, you are so cringe. They don't really carry pursuit, though. It's a bit of a free switch. Yo, it's a bit of a free switch. I mean, I'm still taking damage. 
But Weavile gets to do a uh, not good. Should have gone him a choke here instead. Shadow Claw. Buddy, you just gave me the free switch. Come on now. How dumb can you be? Okay, unironically though, what are you boosting? Like, what could you possibly be boosting right now? Other than absolutely nothing. Get out of here. Singles B vials in this game are unironically just so fucking bad. Like, just have Ice Punch, please. Instead of fucking Shadow Claw. Like, even Faint Attack's better, at least that is Stab. Like, come on now. Oh, fun, Drapion, wow. I'm putting him, uh, Zam. It's my least useless, uh, least useful mon. I need to get this choice band, like, the stopping a pain of Tauros. And Machoke can dynamic punch the, the, the guy if he's on the field. Which he cannot do if he's in the ball. Fun fact. Oh no, Zam died. That's not fun at all. It's actually kind of cringe. Here goes the big man, boys. Let's go. We got to avenge him. That's so cringe. Can you please stop talking like that? True. Again, I'm still crying for not taking that modest spec Zam. I just didn't realize how terrible mine was in uh, comparison. Because, you know, it's bold nature. Don't get me wrong, that plus defense saved it from dying to Infernate, but besides the point, alright? It could have been like 80 times better. It should have been 80 times better, and I should have traded for that other one. So I could trade the one that I already have. The one that I have now. Oh wow, Drapion didn't kill. It's almost like I could have just switched in Tauros without sacking Alakazam. Huh, I wonder if that was something I could have done, huh? Anyways, I'm going to start just yelling at the TV now. I hope everyone's fine with that. You know what's funny? I actually have this uh, pretty fucking damn nice TV in my room. Right? I got it back on my 18th birthday, back in 2018. Yeah, it was like four years ago at this point. What the fuck? That is disgusting, actually. But... Um... Hold on. Can I please look at the Infernape's nature instead of mashing the same button? It's naive. That's plus speed. I'm taking them for now. It's better than Machoke across every ounce of the board. But like, I used this TV a shit ton in 2018. You know, I grinded the fuck out of Black Ops 3 and 4. Um, Am I going to go for the Zam lead matchup? Let's do it. It's funny. But like, once 2019 happened, yeah, I used it a bit. But, like, in August, I just stopped... Not August. I don't know when I got my capture card. So August is when I got my PC. And I definitely stopped using it as much. Let's bring Infernape. Let's bring uh, Jolteon? Fuck it. Why not? We gotta use the good, the goodest boy eventually, alright? We gotta use the god Jolteon at some point here. But, yeah, this TV's kind of just been going to waste for, like, the last two years. <laughs> it's kind of sad. Cause like I could just play my capture card through my computer, and I don't have to use the TV for anything. Oh no, not a PZ that will die to psychic. Oh no, die fiend. Get out of here. We're not doing this. You're cringe. You are so cringe for thinking you had a chance, my guy. Okay, here's the real question though. Alakazam, put him in. You are so fucking cringe. All right. Well, we're going hard in for an ape switch. Because, well, Zam is in. It might just go for Earthquake or Gyro Ball. Or nothing. Extra. Okay, you're reading my inputs. You're hacking. You're literally cheating! I just got robbed. Like, nobody's business there. This thing's literally hacking. I can't believe this. You're the worst. Alright. Anyways, we bring in the Jolteon. To save the run, we bring my man in to crit everything. Do it, friend. Oh, that is so, that did literally did nothing. I have to thunder this guy next turn. I unironically have to thunder him. Why? Why wouldn't you just use the better attack? All right, hit him, buddy. It's only a seventy. There you go. Good job. And he's dead. Good job. 
Ain't it crazy what a modest nature will do for this thing? You know what would make this thing even... Actually, no. I don't know. I don't think Focus Dash is, like, worse than Specs. Like, there's no way Specs is better. Grand... Okay, well, that thing just dies both my guys, so lucky me. <laughs> both the guys I have outspeed and destroy this thing. You know, if Jolteon just crits this thing here, it'd be great, too. Boo! Gramble sucks! Why is he getting a kill here? You're so lame! But this is fun, guys. I gotta... ...finish uploading the main channel video... ...for... ...Ruby and Sapphire today. I gotta edit... ...the three videos I recorded for this channel. And then... ...I might need to get a live stream in at some point for Twitch. I don't know. We'll see. Lucky me. Anyways, um, it's nice to see that I woke up at six, uh, six and slept like laid in bed for to, like for like thirty minutes, wasting so much time that I just simply do not have with how much I need to divvy out for everything else today. Depression. All right, all right. Uh, they didn't choose the Zam, which is extremely fucking cringe. Look, it had earthquake. It didn't even click it in front of Jolteon. You know why it didn't? Because he didn't see the kill, because it probably saw the sash instead. Yo, wait. You guys seeing what I'm seeing right now? I see three victims for Jolteon. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. I see a place where Tauros and Inferni do pretty fucking good. That's also what I see here. Tauros puts a hurting on Drapion and Snorlax. Inferni also puts a hurting on Snorlax, but I can't switch it in. Which is extremely cringe, but that's just how it goes sometimes. That's just how it be. Yeah. Ah, you're so fucking annoying. All right. Wow, I can't wait to switch turn one because the the the, the stain is in the way. This abomination. I'm still cringing at playing Cold War earlier. I'm sorry. I am sorry, ladies and gentlemen. My bad. I need to get the taste of shit out of my mouth. Alright. I think, unironically, Zen Headbutt Flinch is, like, the optimal play here. I don't want the uh, the uh, takedown recoil. I don't want them switching to, into Star Actor for free. With Earthquake. You are so fucking annoying. Stop. Yeah, Flinch, bastard. Alright, fuck you. Alright, Toros, do it again. Just crit Flinch him again. Your time has arrived. You were being so useless. Come on. Sunny day. I mean, when I get Infernape on the field, I can hit Flare Bullets harder, I guess. I mean, I'm fine with that. I take that exchange any day of the week. Thank you for missing, my friend. Appreciate you having guts for no reason. That's cool. Not guts. Uh, Hustle. Snorlax, you are not good. Just stop. You are one of the worst Snorlaxes I have ever seen in my life because your fourth move sucks. So much ween. There is zero need for a Snorlax with Sunny Day. There is no... Okay, you're just so fucking cringe. Can you stop? It's like the game's deliberately trying to piss me off right now. By making this thing not flinch where it absolutely would've. Because I knew damn well what is correct and the game does not know what's correct. Because I am the player and I am smart because of that. I think that the fact. All right, let's hit him with one of these, and then whatever comes in next turn gets Flare Blitz back into Oblivion. It is just simply the greatest plan that you have ever witnessed in your entire life of witnessing the greatest plan ever of all time. Insane. All right, what's it gonna be, buddy? Who are you putting in to be the next victim? Okay, the one thing I was actually worried about not being able to be, I appreciate that right like so fucking much. Hand it over, my friend. I will take your glade for free. Why not? Okay, you're cheating. You're cheating. You're cheating. Burn it. You're so fucking cringe. Thing would have died. If this thing was charcoal, it was dead. This infernip's like actually bad. Like you think for being plus speed, it'd be kind of useful, right? Well, that's where you thought wrong, my guy. That is where you turned out to be very not thinking very smartly. Listen, we all made those mistakes, but I didn't show you the item, so you wouldn't have known it wouldn't have killed. 
I never once showed that off on screen until just now. Alright, Jolteon. All you have to do from here is beat the Star Raptor. Or the other two that you can beat that's on this team. You just gotta beat one of the three Mons that you were designed to destroy right now, right? Oh, fuck you. Fuck you. I didn't even get anything Jolteon beats in this fight. Hera, please. Just stun him, for the love of God. So cringe. Alright, whatever, I still beat him. I'm faster than him, I have my stash intact, we're fine. And that did literally nothing. Announcer, I don't think you seem to understand what massive means. It means not that. I'll tell you that right now, that was like nothing, my guy. But it was over 50%, that's massive, dude, come on. Cut the announcer a little bit of slack. You know what, if I had to start cutting one person slack, I have to cut everyone slack. Alright, that's what I have to do. And alright, listen, I am not gonna do that shit because somebody said I have to. Episode 200, ladies and gentlemen. This has been an experience. Like, why do they not give this thing like a, ro like a poison move that actually does damage? Like, just give it poison jab, it could use the stab. Hello? Alright, whatever. Yo, Toga Sleeper. Alright. Okay, so what can I do here? Ah, uh, these ground types are actually a stupid concern because I just have no water types in my team. I don't think anyone caught on to that that I uh, I screwed myself out of a King Drill when I chose Glyscorn earlier. There's another fucking Snorlax, dude. It's so annoying. Can I please just have something I can beat 1v1? For fuck's sake. Alright, we're leading Infernape because I don't really have many other options here other than to lead with this. Alright, I lead Infernape. It exclusively beats Snorlax and it might beat Slacking. Keyword might. Everything else I kind of just have to like sack them to. Unironically, this is where the run dies. Oh god, this team is terrifying. Unironically, this is the sketchiest scheme I have ever seen in my entire life. In the history of my 22 years on Earth. This is truthfully the worst thing of all time ever in the history of all time. In history. <laughs> oh, wow! Marowak! I gotta switch out. I can't switch to anything because Thick Club. <laughs> just curtain, buddy. Literally, just crit it. That's all you have to do, is just not suck. This Marowax cheating. Snorlax is gonna be in the back and I just lose to it instantly. This guy is such a fucking sweat. Hold on. You are such a damn sweat. And I get crit by a Thick Club Marowak. Awesome. I'm so glad my chances of surviving that with Tauros were non-existent. I'm glad I didn't switch out there. That would have been awful, actually. This is just stupid. Alright. Zam, you have to build a body this guy's entire team right now. You need to kill a mining special defense glyph score, hopefully. Listen, if I had led... Okay, actually, the, if I led with uh, Tauros, it probably would have like way safer. Or Zam, because I could have switched to Tauros. There he is! The fucking hemorrhoid is here! Every fucking battle, this pain in the ass is always waiting. It is the most infuriating shit ever. Just drop its defense, please. Good. All right. Not like it makes a difference because I died to this thing, but whatever. You're plus defense. You can live it, right? Damn straight. All right. Don't don't like get like uh, the thing. Yeah. Awesome. All right. So it looks like we have a chance to win this because the Snorlax is actually bad. A. It's too weak. B. It's not bulky enough. And it's dead. How thrilling. <laughs> I am so fucking tired of Snorlax, dude. You don't understand. Alright, well, Infernate beats us, so lucky me. If Zam can't kill it, Infernate does. It's not a matter if Infernate beats it, but he beats it with help, and it died, so lucky me. Love to see how this game turns out in the year of 2022. I gotta stop it, man. We are getting close.
Yeah, we're getting close to yawning. Yeah, that's the one. Yes, sir. All right. Whatever, whatever. Who fucking gives a shit? All right. I am never trading for any of those ever. Because that Smurlax is the worst thing I have ever seen in my entire life. Because it got outplayed. All right. What the hell is this team? So I think I'll bring Snorlax in an attempt to upgrade. I could bring, like, Gliscor to try to trade that. Or Infernape. Unironically, trading Infernape would be good. And it beats Licky Licky, which is huge. That is the most massive, huge, insane, insano style W I could have asked for. I really want to bring both Zard and Jolteon. Sounds kind of bad because it leaves me out of Swampert answers, huh? Yeah, you know, I'm just gonna do one of these. You know, I'm just bringing Zam to every single battle imaginable because it's the only useful mod I have. It's just how it goes, alright? Let's just not judge anyone for knowing better. Alright, let's just pretend for three seconds that I'm making the right decision after all. Yo, it dies! Maybe. Uh, get in the grave, friend. No Aquaberries for you. Good. It's time to get in the grave. You were never allowed to walk away from the scene alive. You know what I like about Meganium? It is the freest. The freest. Like, the, it's like the freest mon you can take. Other than like Shiftry. Oh wow, another victim. Hey, have no Choppleberry, please. Thank you. <laughs> Put him in the grave, friend. Send him packing. It's time to... You're, you're bad. I was trying to put him in a pack, but it didn't look like it was going to work in the end, huh? This this looking like he's cheating, and he's throwing. Yo, he's cheating, and he's bad. Hold on. I don't know why I didn't think that one through. But yeah, he's kind of beans. If I were him, I would have just been like halfway decent here, personally. <sighs> Bro, it is... Like, it's literally 9, and I want to work myself to death today. Fun. Hell, if I were playing it smart right now, I'd be editing, like, a video, like, during this recording. Like, unironically. Yo, the Swampy Man's here. We're just gonna hit him with one of these. So, Swampert's actually a concern, because, uh... If he's Quick Claw, right? If he's Quick Claw, there could be a problem here with Zam and Jolteon. Not be able to pick up the kill together. Again, mainly Zam though. Water. F oh wow, dude! My Pasho Berry's coming in handy for me to die at minus two, and at like damage taken. Yeah. What a useful Pasho Berry we got here. <sighs> Whatever. And this is why Black Belt or Charcoal is like twenty times better than any Berry. Maybe not Cust Up though. Actually, yeah, Cust Up kind of sucks in the context of Infernape Speed here. All right, Zam, it's time for you to do your thing. Put him down. Let's go. All right. I got to stop yawning, man. I literally have to stop. It is going to be the end of me if I do that like four more times this video, just straight up. But hey, look on the bright side. We're going right to the final battle, which is the craziest, most hype and awesome and cool and hype thing ever. And that is the only thing I've ever asked for in my entire life, ever, of living, ever. You know, I wonder how much damage a Blaze Boosted, Sun Boosted, Fire Blast of Charizard would do to a Snorlax. You know, I'm really just curious on that. Lumberry, it's not half bad. It's a like Hammer Arm. Minus attack, really? Why? Why you gotta be like that, Swamper? Lonely, docile. I'll take Swamper because I really don't need another Infernape. And now we go to the final battle where I have to fight some normal types where an Infernape would have been very useful for. And he's leading with a fucking Snorlax. How fucking fun. How thrilling! I am enjoying so much when I see the exact same hemorrhoid on every fucking team. And I have no way to actually fight the, fight the slacking here. Huh, that's actually a huge concern. I have to bring Zam. Oh, and ironically, I kind of need Zam here. I love how my answer with Zard is Blaze Boosted Fire Blast. A, I have to not get crit. B, I have to not get paralyzed. C, I have to hit a Fire Blast. 
Not the greatest strategy I've ever thought of in my life, but it's the only one that looks like it'll work here. It looks like my only option. So let's hope it doesn't have like rock tomb or something. All right, let's go for it. I'm always faster because Snorlax speaks here ass unless it's quick clock because he's cheating. All right, Zard, you got this, my guy. Um. Uh oh. It gives me another extra chance to hit him. I could flinch him to hell and back. Let's go for that sun boosted fire blast. See how much I get out of this. Let's see how much mileage this thing pulls right here. Oh, that is a lot of damage. I like that a lot. I like that he's not hitting me at all either. I'm glad he wants me to take a Snorlax out personally. This is something I'm fond of. So I probably could go for Air Slash here. Depends on Blaziken's moveset because he could switch to it, but he's not. All right, we're fine. No Blaziken switch, love to see it. All right, we're off to a great start. The one thing I was worried about most has died. Actually, slacking is the biggest concern, but if uh, I just sack something to it, Alexander will just kill it. So it's not really the biggest concern. Oh no, is that a victim for good old Air Slash? I think it is. Goodbye, friend. Get out of here. Nice crit. <laughs> The one battle Zard comes to, this thing never disappoints, dude. On ironically, this man just goes crazy every time, and I don't get it. Zard, you are kicking so much ass right now. Good job. Um, I think you're slower here, though. Huh, he missed. Doesn't matter. <laughs> it does not matter. Now put him down, my friend. Oh, that sweep was just diabolical. Oh, that was just not okay at all. Zard just went sicko mode on him. He straight up morbed everybody. That is what I love to see right there, ladies and gentlemen. That was your episode 200. Congratu congratulations. But most importantly, thank you for watching. Just like all the videos in general, not just this one. All right, anyways, uh, we're just gonna... We're not gonna trade the Glyscore for the Blazing Hand. It's got Endure, that could be helpful. It's bold, never mind. Never mind, it's kind of beans. Party. What's your fourth name? You know what? We're just gonna. We're just gonna trade off Ice War later, alright?